Um, thank you very much. My name is Inigo Batricoa from the Institute for Materials Engineering in the University of Kassel. Um, and now I'm going to present the results of our study in the 3D morphology of iron rich inclusions in high iron content aluminum silicon copper alloys. So, the cast aluminum silicon copper system is one of the most important in the automotive industry due to its excellent castability, high static strength, um, corrosion resistance, weldability, and recycling possibilities. Um, the ecological and economical advantages of recycled aluminum has led to an increasing production trend as the production of recycled aluminum requires between 5 and 10 percent of the energy in comparison with the primary aluminum. This implies a significant reduction of the CO2 emissions and also production costs. Nevertheless, the use of the recycled grain material for structural components is a major change because um, especially when uh, fatigue life is critical. Um, the reason is that the accumulator iron can only be removed with a very costly process from the melt and high iron concentrations cause the formation of brittle iron compounds from which crack initiate and lead to premature failure. Um, consequently, the study of the morphology of these brittle inclusions is essential for the determination of the structure resistant degradation and um, high resolution microcomputer tomography is a major tool in the analysis of these um, brittle iron rich inclusions. It also enab enables to compare the morphology of the inclusions before and after the treatments. So the, the alloy um, was obtained from an uh, aluminum 25% iron master alloy. Uh, it was sand casted at uh, 700, 760 degrees in a sodium silicate uh, mold, and then uh, normalized specimens were machined out. Um, these specimens were subjected to D6 heat treatment. They were solutionized at 525 degrees during one hour, then they were water quenched at 70 degrees, and aged at 180 degrees during 11 hours. Um, the three-dimensional uh, measurements were carried out in size um, x ray at 520 degrees, operating at 60 kb and 6 watts. Um, the images were segmented in an advanced rendering package called Abyssal Software. Um, then um, tensile, tests, the tensile tests were conducted and fracture surface observations were carried out in a scanning electron microscope. So the typical microstructure of this alloy consists of the alpha aluminum matrix, eutectic silicon particles, iron rich phases and copper rich phases. Um, in this uh, iron rich phases, two main phases can be identified. One is the alpha iron rich inclusion with Chinese flip, and the second one is the beta iron rich inclusion. Um, they present this uh, long needle like appearance. Um, they are very brittle uh, phases and consequently they cause the loss of ductility and strength in the alloy. We can see that uh, often there are also copper inclusions um, close to this brittle, long needle like iron inclusions. The um, 3D reconstructions of, the, of this brittle, long needle like phases uh, present this platinum like form. This means that um, these long needle like brittle inclusions are platinum like form inclusions. Uh, they have an average volume of 0 0.001 8 um, cubic millimeters and an area of 0 0.358 square millimeters. The largest inclusion was about almost 1 millimeter and had a volume of 0 0.00589 cubic millimeters. Uh, we can see in these fractographs that um, these platinum like inclusions um, present a, were the main cause of failure. Um, the brittle nature of these inclusions and their susceptibility to act as crack initiation sites can be noted um, as failure occurred um, by the cleavage fracture of this massive brittle 
um, iron rich inclusions. Um, we can see also that uh, copper rich inclusions and secondary cracks are visible in the vicinity of these inclusions. Um, we have also found out that um, there are complex morphology in these um, iron inclusions. Um, they sometimes present a certain curvature and may even cross with each other. Um, there are also complex structures of interconnected uh, clusters of iron rich inclusions uh, in which they cross with each other or may even branch. Um, these complex structures of interconnected iron inclusions tend to form cavities in which micropore, micropores are tend to be enclosed. Um, this suggests that the um, iron rich inclusion may promote the formation of microporosity uh, by restricting the flow of liquid metal during the casting. Um, we have also found that uh, copper rich inclusions uh, lay around the um, uh, iron rich inclusion, which means that um, these phases may favor the precipitation of copper uh, rich phases in a effective reaction. Here we can see um, a scanning electron uh, microscope fractographs uh, from um, fractured thin cell specimens after treatments. Uh, we can see here that the iron rich inclusions uh, present a dissolved and decomposed morphology. They are also um, much smaller uh, in comparison with the non heat treated tensile specimens. Um, we also see that uh, there are some uh, copper inclusions in the surrounding of the iron rich phases. Um, the fracture mode was also uh, more ductile. We can see here uh, alpha aluminum dendrites with deep pore morphology and also a transcrystalline fracture of uh, fibrous conductive silicon. Here we can see a um, um, volume element of uh, this alloy in which the um, um, iron rich phases were segmented. Um, this was volume element before heat treatment and this volume element after heat treatment. We can see sorry, that um, this regimental uh, massive iron rich inclusions were significantly um, fragmented and dissolved. Um, the volume element um, was significantly reduced from 7.89% uh, to 1.22%. Then uh, the largest beta iron rich phase uh, was segmented in Aviso and exported to Abacus. Um, this inclusion was inserted in a, a finite element model of a cylindrical volume representing the um, alloy material. And then a pool test was simulated in order to calculate the stress field in the inclusion. Um, the, the compound was rotated in the three axes of the material in order to simulate an arbitrary um, stress field. Here we can see the results of the stress field um, in the inclusion. Um, we can see that the maximum stress concentration factor range between 1.74 and 3.46 for the different orientations. Um, the peak stress were located in the, on the edge of the inclusion. In some cases, the protuberances of the, of the phase uh, was also aside with maximum stress concentrations. Um, in general, there is a multiple, multiple crack initiation site, so it means that um, crack, cracks do not initiate on a single site, but on multiple sites which means that um, the initiation of these multiple cracks tend to coalesce and it will act as, as a penny shape crack. Um, here we can also conclude that the brittle nature of this inclusion and their platelet form morphology uh, generate high local stress concentrations that lead to rapid failure, but um, we can avoid um, the initiation and the 
of cracks and the premature failure uh, by specific pretreatment. So, um, here in conclusions, uh, we can say that this um, beta iron rich faces present uh, platelet uh, morphology in the 3D reconstructions and they were found to be the main crack initiation sites in the fracture surface observations. Um, they have complex morph morphology with crossing between faces, curve and branch shape, holes, protuberances, these interconnected clusters of inclusions with cavities uh, tend to form micropores and also uh, copper rich faces uh, tend to be laying around the periphery of the faces. After heat treatment, this dissolved morphology of beta iron rich faces were found and a more ductile fracture mode uh, with a significant inclusion of elongation was observed. A maximum stress concentration factor of 3.46 was obtained in the 3D fit element analysis of the largest beta iron rich face segmented from the microcomputer tomography data. Uh, for most of the orientations, the peak the stress concentration factor was located on the edge of the inclusion, although the protuberances of the face were also high stress concentration sites. So, uh, thank you very much for your attention.